And, oh, look, she even got me a ball already. You didn't get me a spoon, but I just want to do that myself. So, my lovely, vengeant wife has got me all day, and it's my fault. You see, today is April 2nd. That is the day after my second Christmas, which is April 1st. Um, Y'all who haven't kind of caught on to my personality, I love, 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 love April Fool's Day. My family, however, does not. Usually my wife will get up early and try to beat me before I get up and leave the house and not come back until I've gone to work. But I, I kind of tend to have a lot of fun. I get to be a little creative around the house. And um, when I got home from work the night before, I printed out pictures of me in various poses making funny faces and, and snuck them in different places around the house. My daughter got the brunt of it. Um, I stuffed all of her pants with toilet paper and uh, her shoes with notes and things like that. And then uh, I also uh, found a really cool trick, and y'all can try this if you want to, but uh, take a couple pieces of dried macaroni and put them underneath the little uh, little thingies underneath your toilet seat. Wash your hands when you're done. But uh, you take your macaroni and put underneath the toilet seat, and then gently set the toilet seat down. Then when somebody goes to sit down, you know, have a seat, the macaroni crumbles up and it sounds like you've broken your toilet seat and it was kind of funny she lifted the lid and there was a little note there that said April Fools. Well April 2nd. But what did your wife tell you on she, April 1st? She told me that she would get me back. Why? Because you wouldn't stop. Because she's mean. <laughs> because you did something unlawful. You did something unethical. You did it on April 2nd. <laughs> no no I told you on April 1st that I didn't need a day a special day on the calendar to you know. get you back and that I was a very very patient woman you also said earlier today that you were done no I didn't you inferred that <laughs> oh <laughs> when you said all of them are out of the car yes I didn't mean that they were all gone dear one thing that y'all need to know about me in this conversation y'all y'all are asking well, okay what's that what did she do because I screamed <laughs> The one thing I didn't tell you is the reason why I screamed, and ever since I was a little kid, I've been terrified of spiders. I mean, terrified of spiders. Bears don't scare me. Large men with baseball bats don't scare me. Stop. But one thing that will scare me and make me cry is a spider. I don't care if it's a great big spider that is bigger than my hand. I don't care if it's a little bitty spider that you can just barely see. Spiders terrify me. And I don't know why, because I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. I love Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man since I was a kid. But real spiders scare me. Or things that look like real spiders. So, <laughs> today, as we were getting ready to tape this segment, my wife says, I'll just go over there and get that little crock pot right over there. The one with the funny handle, we'll use it for one of these recipes. So I reach over there and grab the crock pot set it on the counter and open up the lid and there's a giant brown plastic spider. Very realistic looking spider. Ice cream, throw the crock pot, ha ha, we had our last, my wife thought it was funny. It was great. <laughs> thought it was over and then we got up to leave and uh, go run around today and I got in the car and in the little console of the door handle was another spider. It scared me. Oh no, you missed the one by the door. Oh, that's right. There was the one by the door because I went to grab my keys and there was a spider on my keys. Again, kind of, it took me off guard a little bit. I go in, there's one in the, in the console of the door. <laughs> I, again, scream. I grab a hold of it, like the man that I am, and I throw it out <laughs> into the road. I littered today. I'm sorry, people. Sorry, neighbors, but I'm not going to go pick it up. And then when I went to get back in the car, ha ha, laughing, ha ha, there's another one on, sitting there on the odometer. Scared me again. I am terrified of spiders. So, ha ha, we've had our fun. I even bowed to my wife <laughs> and declared her the winner. <laughs> and 
And what does she do to me? <laughs> Let me show you. Hang on a second. Oh, there's no paper towels. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> I reach in to grab a spoon. Show that camera. I have to edit this later. I don't even want to. Oh. No! I don't care if they're real, if they're fake. I don't like them. Oh, don't go in the morning for a plastic spider. No, I, I like it. It's brought me no, lots of no, joy. No, no, no. All right. Can we go back to eating and cooking this episode? Sure, get a spoon. Oh, I forgot to grab a spoon. <laughs>